for God, God just used to deal with me, and I used to just cry and cry and cry and ask the Lord, you know, God, I want more of you, more of your word, more of your knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Hallelujah. That's what it's going to take is you yourself alone, being alone with the Lord, letting him show you these things in your prayer closet. Everything that you do, don't always try to be in everything, but put time aside for Jesus. Hallelujah. Make time for him in your walk. Hallelujah. So many times we're so busy, but so many times we do things and then we come to church and we're about to go to sleep when we come to church because we do so many things. And then our body is so tired we can barely listen to the words of God. Hallelujah. I know because I've been there. Hallelujah. And he's always a taxi driver. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but we got to make time for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. He's coming back very soon. Yes, he is. He's coming back very soon. Yeah. But like I said, I thank God for the word. God has shown us things in our Christian walk. We are overcomers tonight. We can look beyond yes. our We can look beyond Hallelujah. Our we can look beyond yes. our finances. Yes. We can look beyond what our children are going through. Yes. And we can look unto the hills from which coming our help. Hallelujah. As long as we focus on Jesus. Yes. All these things that are happening around us. Mm-hmm. They don't matter anymore because of the way we're supposed to with obedience, with reverence, hallelujah, yeah. with honoring God, with honoring the house of God, with that respect when yeah. we are told, when we come into the house of God and ask for yeah. to be the way we're supposed to be, think the way we're supposed to be, walk in the way we're supposed to walk, and not going to places we're not supposed to be at because God says no, hallelujah. Amen. God says to pick up the cross daily and follow yes. me. Hallelujah. Denying ourselves. Hallelujah. So many times we go our own ways. We do our own thing. Yes. And then we end up with all these, the, the mess that we have in our lives is because we don't take in the word of God when we come yes. into the house of God like we're supposed to. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We come into the house of God to receive. Hallelujah. We come into the house of God to be restored. Hallelujah. We come into the house of God winning here. Hallelujah. We come into the house of God knowing that we're going to receive a word from God and that it's going to fulfill us, that it's going to remind us, that it's going to make us forget the things that are in our lives and forgive the people that are around us to live the abundant joy and the, and the abundant life that God has promised to give us. Hallelujah. So many times we're, we're, we're so we're, we're, we're just so focused on the things in our lives that it gets us sick. Hallelujah. Sickness comes upon our body. Things begin to happen left and right in our family because we're not doing the what we're supposed to do. We're not in the will of God anymore. anymore. The fear of the Lord is not within us anymore. But Jesus at 12, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, he, he had a mentality in his mind already, hallelujah, that God's grace was upon him at 12 years old, hallelujah. And we all want God to do a work in our lives, in our families' lives. When you put God first, everything else begins to haze, everything else begins to blur away, and God stands there before you, so strong, so true, and He's the only one that matters, hallelujah, He's the only one that can take care of all your problems, hallelujah, so it doesn't matter, hallelujah, how old you are, or from what kind of background you have, how, how messed up of a life that you have, or maybe you just got everything in your life, your bank accounts are so full, everything you got cars lined up outside your house, you got things going good for you, but maybe there's something in your life, hallelujah, you are missing, hallelujah, maybe there's that empty void, hallelujah, that void in your life, hallelujah, that you just can't seem to fill, hallelujah, but God says tonight, hallelujah, he Hallelujah. 
He will come and restore. He will yes. fix every broken thing in your life. Yes. Hallelujah. Because God, yes. He's an awesome God tonight. Hallelujah. He's a way maker tonight. Hallelujah. Yes. Maybe you're sitting in here tonight with a sickness within your body that even the doctors don't know what it is. Don't know what, where the pain is coming from. Maybe you're just so tired of you probably just dread of not going back home tonight because of the way your house is or because of the way your neighbors are living. Maybe it's time that you stand up as a Christian and go out there and testify of what